the picture is that, and, and physicists, I always like to joke, when they don't really know or the language isn't present, then physicists often say, in some sense, and wave their hands. So in some sense, there's an equivalent description of our reality, which lives on a boundary surrounding it. It's perfectly equivalent. And you might ask the question, well, what's the real description of reality? Uh, and the answer is, we don't know, but they're equivalent. So it's strongly suggestive that there's a, l let me say a deeper theory, but at least a different theory of our experience of the world, of space and time, that does not have space and time in it. And that's, that's one of the wonderful surprises uh, that's really emerged from, at least in part, from the study of black holes and the attempt to answer the very well-posed questions that black holes pose. It's, I should say that the, the, the work done by Maldacena, the ADS-CFT correspondence, was, uh, was pu purely mathematical. So it wasn't framed in the study of black holes, although the questions ultimately uh, seem to be intimately related.